Hi Dreamweavers, it's Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to a, another video. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a video. As I always say, I have so much like um, videos, like stuff that I need to upload but that I haven't yet and it's just like a whole mess. Like I really need to get better so I feel like um, a while ago like back towards the earlier part of this year like I had like a really on point schedule where I was consistently having videos up twice a week and I do want to get back to that Dreamweavers I am so sorry I'm such a mess but yeah so if you're new <laughs> to uh, this channel then welcome please ignore my ramblings although I'm sure if you have been on this channel before you know I ramble all the time so that's something new something that's probably hopefully not too annoying to look forward to that I ramble 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 but yeah so I post a new videos twice a week on witchcraft magic uh positivity law of attraction and beauty everyday life just yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like my dream my dream catcher top that is old but I found it the other day in the bottom of my drawer and I thought oh I forgot I had this top I think I got it from like Walmart I did get it from Walmart when I was uh, a few years ago when I was in the States I got it in Walmart um yeah so yeah that was a really boring interesting pointless fact that you really needed to know so yeah let's hop on into the video Right then guys, as you are watching this, Yule is fast approaching. We are getting towards that time of year. So it's time in my Sabbath celebration series to do my Yule video. So as always, if you see me looking down, I have handwritten notes with my Apple Pencil on my iPad. I will try not to look down too much, but I get a flow and I don't want to forget anything so yeah let's get on to it so Yuletide which is also also known as Yule uh, it marks it marks the first official day of winter so it's also the winter solstice on the day of the winter solstice and for those of you who didn't know the solstice is the shortest day of the year but the longest night of the year so it is the polar opposite to Alithia, midsummer in June, where that is the longest day and the shortest night. So I feel that for Yule is in this time of year in general is definitely a time sort of for loved ones, family and friends, giving and sort of just enjoying the festive cheer of the holiday season. So your trees also known as Christmas trees, are put up in our houses and made to look all pretty and a nice warm hearty food is served. So the key themes for the Sabbath are renewal, uh, rebirth, reflection really and I feel like the Sabbath is all about embracing new beginnings. It's, and as I said, it is a time of year, or a uh, Sabbath for a time of year of reflection and also gratitude as well. As I feel, as I myself 
well, I'm sure loads of you as well love the sort of this whole holiday season and love this sort of Christmassy time of year but I feel like it's so easy to get caught up in the commercialism of the of the season to get so caught up on getting the latest gifts or giving the latest gifts or just getting caught up in the sort of consumerism bullshit and sometimes it's important to remember and to be grateful for what the things that we do have as I know that we're all guilty I myself are guilty sometimes of sort of thinking of the things that I don't have and getting down about the things I don't have but this time of year especially it's just just I do just really brings it home especially with the whole covid thing of this year really brings it home that we're lucky to have things that we do have our loved ones like home and food job like the basic essentials and then anything on top of that is a luxury as a bonus so yeah i think it's important to sort of sometimes have that inner reflection I also wanted to touch on the oak and the holly king it's a um well known in the pagan community of um what sort of a uh, sort of story quote unquote story of um a depiction of the god and the story of this time of year so the holly king is the king is the god that he's the king that rules over the darker part of the year so from midsummer so from lithia up until yule so from the six months from june until december and he's the king of the waning part of the year so when yule the solstice arrives he gives up his life to the god of the waxing year which is the oak king and the oak king rules over the light part of the year so we are talking from midsummer until yule have i done the right way around yeah midsummer until yule so he rules over the lighter part of the year and they each rule equally over half of the year and they are both constantly fighting for the love affection and favor of the goddess <coughs> And each of them ultimately surrenders their life for the good of the land. So the Oak King will surrender his life at Yule for the Holly King to take over from Yule to Midsummer. And then at Midsummer, the Holly King will relinquish his rule to the Oak King and so on and so forth. Because if one of the kings didn't relinquish their power then the world's the seasons would be out of balance um so really when you think about the i feel like the oak and the holly king they are ultimately two sides of the same coin they're just two different facets of the god and also as well like the festival sort of rebirth and the return of the sun is something that's very poignant as we roll into Yule. So when the longest night ends, the dark is defeated with the return of the sun, with it with it brings the return of hope and light. So the the goddess has given birth to the sun king and the sun starts to wax, causing the days to grow longer. And also everything that has hibernated for the dark months begins to re-emerge. And it's the sun's birthday and the promise of brighter days just around the corner. So I thought there's a nice, two nice, uh, nice little uh, stories that represent this time of year. So different correspondences that you may want to incorporate in your practice for Yule. So things like the colours that represent Yule are reds, golds, like silvers, greens, whites and like icy blue sort of, sort of stereotypical colours that you may sort of put on like your Christmas tree. Um, different crystals that you may want to correspond into or you may you may want to use at this time of year things like citrine ruby diamond and garnet animals we have deers owls 
uh, doves, wolves, squirrels, bears, and of course, reindeer. Different flowers that are abundant at this time of year that you may want to do things like put on your altar or using spell work or however you want to use them. So things like holly, mistletoe is a good one, uh, pine and poinsettias, herbs, ginger, uh, bay laurel, juniper, sage, rosemary, and of course my favourite, cinnamon. Uh, foods at this time of year, things like turkey, mulled wine, I'm not a fan of mulled wine personally, but that is, is something that you definitely associate with this time of year. Uh, stuffing, I love stuffing. Eggnog, dried fruits, nuts, gingerbread, chocolate, pears, uh, different meats, fruitcake, like Christmas cake, that type of thing. Different goddesses that you may want to work with at this time could include Isis, Gaia, Morgan, Bridget, Demeter, and Aphrodite. If you want gods that you may want to work with, Green Man is Simonius for this time of year, as is the Oak King, the Holly King, uh, Odin, Lau, Horus, and Ra. Incense, clove, cedar, and cinnamon. Oh, imagine burning some cinnamon incense now. You could use oils as well. It smells so good. Um, ultra idea, ba brief ultra ideas, I'm going to cover it in a little bit more depth in a minute, but so some ultra ideas, things that you could put on your altar for this time of year would be candles, especially candles that are red, gold, green, the whole shebang, pine cones, you could have fake snowflakes and snow, um, bells is a good one, candy canes, I love candy canes, they're so cute, you can mini yule trees, a uh, ribbon, different ornaments, you could even use um, ornaments from tree um, that you'd get by like in stores for Christmas trees and stuff, if you see ornaments that really resonate with you and things like that, you could use them for your yule altar. Um, yep, I think I covered that briefly, different ideas for spells that you may want to try at uh, around this sort of time of year spells for hope love family healing half and how half and home uh peace new beginnings reflection and also as well yule is known by as christmas being the main one uh yule tide yule feast and winter solstice so now let's talk slightly more in depth about different uh, Yule altar decorating ideas. So different things that you could use to decorate your altar for Yule. So we are looking at things like candles, ribbon, incense, uh, different animal statues like reindeer, squirrels, owls, whatever you feel calls to you at this time of year. Uh, reindeer, like I said, pine cones, I love pine cones, different ornaments, uh, holly, fake snow, fake snowflakes, and uh, nuts. I feel like nuts is a really good one to symbolise, um, to symbolise the Sabbath, because you could, uh, walnuts I'd probably use if it was me, as I love walnuts, my favourite nut anyway, but you could use a walnut in its shell, you could have whole walnuts, you, you could actually get Instead of getting nuts already pre like already shelled or whatever you could get some like from the supermarket or wherever you get them or if you're lucky to find nut trees different nut trees near you you could pick them so you could have walnuts um hazelnuts anything like that on your altar i think that's really cool uh different fruits uh yule logs fairy lights i love fairy lights uh cinnamon crystals any sort of crystals Especially sort of like crystals that we'd associate with this time of year, so like your di your diamonds and garnets and citrine and things like that. Skulls could be like um you could just get fake skulls. You could get if you happen to stumble across an animal skull that doesn't look it's been set there for like someone's ritual or something, because if it's part of a ritual you wanna leave that alone. But you can animal skulls, anything like that. Poinsettias, I like poinsettias. Also, many Yule trees is a good idea. So, let's have a quick think, or a quick discussion, about different Yule activities that we 
could do at this time of year so baking cookies and cakes like gingerbread men and stuff like that is so fun um decorating your yule tree or even if you in your household you don't have a tree really that you separate for yours just like your christmas tree i think that's really fun uh watching like christmasy yule type movies with loved ones making and burning a yule log i've never done that but it looks super fun so if you ever do that then please let me know what it's like as it just looks really cool um also you could donate your food um like surplus food clothes old toys um or your time to a food bank setting up your altar for you if you have a seasonal altar where you change things up you could set it up uh for the sabbath like i personally don't change up my altar with the seasons just because i don't really have the space and my altar is like super cluttered already but you could if you wanted to you could do that um what else have we got we have got making some witchy yule cards i think that's really fun you could probably just like got card paper at home maybe like especially if you're a planner like me maybe like stickers and pens pencils whatever you could just draw paint write whatever being be really fun you could have a yule themed dinner so you could you could do it on the sabbath so be like sort of like a pre christmasy dinner i think that's like a really nice fun idea also going on a winter walk especially if, if the weather is cold and crisp and you've got the last of the leaves on the ground you can just crunch over the leaves wrap yourself up in a nice scarf and have some nice boots on and just just walk around and just breathe in that fresh crisp and just feel that sort of i don't know just soak in the season and also decorating your house for you all i think is super fun so I am going to leave it there as I have a couple more videos that I want to do for you all. So this will be the first one. So stay tuned for the next two.